Oh, yes, and that was a notification to go on live via, via YouTube. Okay. <laughs> there we go. It's set up. And I'm going to double check to make sure that we do have sound. Sound? Yes, we have sound. Yes, I am warming water up for you so you have some above 50 somewhat degree water. Oh, sorry about that. Sounds like we need to go to you leave the stuff on that shelf alone. She's like, I see movement. Picture. Oh, and the cat just blocked up the screen briefly. There we go. Now we're gonna really fun nips. What is she doing now? Leave it alone. <laughs> Here, I'm trying to put you down, you silly cat. She was also oh, well, don't know. Discovered that the um, dandelion roots. Because she liked the, the bunny. I, she walked by and all of a sudden the um, dandelion was moving again. I think she purposely spins it now. This is to keep it from all the way. Yesterday, we tented everything. But as you can tell, it's not particularly warm. Yeah. Yeah, so, what is the May weather? Oh, yeah. It's 57 degrees. Oh, yeah, there's the reason why I, um, nothing dried that much. 64% humidity right now. Yeah. There. That one looked very nice. Yeah. Well, that's a nice smaller size cake. Yeah. 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 And that goes over here because it doesn't need any handles or other assembly. I wonder if um 
Mom, chunks like this have been made some of the lids for the Amphora. Okay. Could be. Because if you think about it, it'd be really close to the right diameter. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you need a thing of goop. So it's your wrist slip. Thread goop. Yep. Yes. And you're close to a certain video game which wet goop is not. And we'll be able to adjust it that way. Yeah, because then it's at this point it's adjustable. Okay. And you have that goo. And you have the stretchy tool because we live over there now. Oh, yes, we need to work on this guy. And the burnishing pipe. There we go. Okay. And now there's the new whoopee, a nice big. Nice jolly thing. Now let's look at the squares. Do this. The square on the side. And then on the side as well. And I know I just made it not round. Because <laughs> everything's so nice and soft, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, did you bring me your cork? Gooey, gooey stuff. Yes, yeah. this is a cat that likes to play fetch. Thank you. Oops. Put the little oh, I'm so in. sorry, Beast. So the goo is the glue that holds it together and it becomes warm. Oh, it did bounce and it landed in This is where box. I go through all the goo that I get out of the pocket. <laughs> Don't blame me, I'm so sorry. What happened? Did it land in something? Yeah, it landed in her little box. Yeah. <laughs> she still retrieved it and cried it back to me, but oh, she retrieves it with her mouth. Hey, so she has, I look down at her and she's got her mouth hanging over. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh, yes, I will throw it. I will throw it. There we go. Over there. Where will we go? One cat, two litter boxes. One in the house. And, and one, one in the, the shop. shop. Yes, you brought it back. You were a good girl. <laughs> she loves it if I um, get it tossed amongst the scrap play bags over there. Yeah. And that is what that plasticky wrestling sound is. Oh, thank you. You're very good. You brought it right back to the feet. Now it's the next thing with the cork tower. Oh, goodness. goodness. <laughs> this is the reason why I brought her out a toy. Was to keep her entertained? When it's too cold. Yes. She's not a long-haired cat, so she's not terribly fond of it when it's below 60 out here. How are you doing, Mr. Squashed Fairy? How do you look like a cat? So cute. Yep, wrong thing. Did you bring your cork back? Well, from the inside, which is really handy. So you have that pop up. Put it there and we place here. And it's a nice little. It's not going to look good right now because now it's been with the city out for the other day. So I can do the next step. Next step, which is to smooth it all out because the goo this time is real goo. Well, I just scooped it out of the scrap bucket the other oh, day. Oh, so the, yeah, the firmer stuff that would have been perfect is down. Oh no, that one was empty. I have to go some other one. Oh, in which case I handed you the wrong bucket. Is that the problem? So remember My we apologies. A lot on that. I handed you the fresh bucket rather than the aged one. Yeah. Well, I can. I, since you do have another one, I'll go see about finding you 
The other container of goo. The other other containers. Because what else are old yogurt containers for? Oh yeah, this one's actually starting to form a crack down the inside. Oh yeah. That's big goo. That was the that was the big goo. I'm that sorry. Was That's okay. I can just apply it to the outside and I can spackle it. <laughs> Imagine that on good at doing sheetrock. Get it, you know, spackle. Plastering walls, perhaps? We have actually used plaster as well. Yeah. On walls, not as uh forms. Yeah. We've done that, but I'm not fond of plaster. It de definitely has a set working time. Yeah. And just. She, just no, no, drywall <laughs> spackle is a lot more like clay. Yeah. I did accidentally get the uh, plaster once when I was repairing a wall from the place where we lived years ago. Yeah. Um. Well, they had to replace pipe. So they had to cut open the wall in the garage. Yeah. It was a big chunk of wall they opened. Yeah. It was a whole pipe, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was 60s cat housing. Nothing like it. Thank goodness. Yeah. So, well, there's, it has old galvanized pipes. Oh, the one of them rusty through. It's the hot water. Is it generally the hot water that goes first? I don't know in general. I just know what that house was used to be. <laughs> it's the house I grew up in. And as soon as I was old enough to do things, well, my mother didn't know how to do anything. So, so it you was up to, to the art student to do her repairs. <laughs> so do you um, pity the person who moved into that house? Oh, there's <laughs> lots of buried treasures in the walls. Yeah, well, as a kid, I did leave a, um, a drawing inside when the... Um, Wall kind of really sealed up. Yeah, well, it was an archway. And, and I, I just walled it. I, it was, one of them became a shelf. The other one you just made into a wall. Into a wall. And once you finished, you couldn't tell that that piece of wall had not always been there. Yeah. There's something about measure twice, cut once. Oh. Uh, yeah. And if you don't, then. Uh, yeah. Well, well, we just had to um, frame the inside of that so we had something to nail the sheetrock to. It wasn't structural at all. It didn't matter if it was crooked. Yeah, it was kind of, one was an inch shorter than the other. Then the cross piece was a diagonal. That's okay. I never learned how to do sh the taping texturing right until much later. So it was just, you fill it in. Keep filling in the cracks until it's finished. And now you're supposed to do it more or less build up of build up lasagna of tape and goo. Oh no, no, that's also not how you're supposed to do it. You're oh, you're supposed not? to do it right the first time. Ah. So you don't have to do that. But the other so one works, right? Yeah, it does. And well I also in the garage, I wasn't the one who did any of the uh, um well board for that one. <laughs> That was actually a professional tip with that one. Really? Yeah. Oh, I I thought some sort of hobbyist must have done that. I just knew that the goop style wasn't yours. That's how I learned how to do it, because well, they were off by as much as an inch in front. Oh, jeez. Well, you know, the bad kind of contractor? Yeah. Just saying. No, well, it also didn't cost us anything. Uh, yeah, from the, um, Bad kind of contractor? Yeah. Did you bring the pork back? Oh, it's over there. Oh. Can you do this? Then, voila. It still is going to have to sit. And go oh, yeah. Another iteration of because it's losing. There's... Because, well, it melts soft. It has to. Did you bring it back? Yes, you did. Sit and just uh, become worn. Because you have. Hard, hard, soft, gooey. And you still have a, um, a seam line? Up? Yeah, you still have yeah, a seam line. But see, it has to harden. Yes. Because so it was a little soft. Pop that guy off the wheel head there. You have stronger fingers than I do. Because you're the one who does the throwing. I do the not throwing. <laughs> yeah. 
I pull. She has soft feet. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and not on. as many injuries. Yeah, well, not as old. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Like, you're saying I have that to look forward to. Oh, of course. Joy. Okay, so here is ample talk. Ow. Right, let me move these handles back out of the way. These are for the two mugs that we oh, did this in. Much Here's M4 a bottom. And I believe M4 a neck cover. And then we'll check to see. Also, something to do with the soft or the straight play. Actually, almost a shot. There we go. I was able to shift the angle so that your side table's actually in shot. As you can see clear back to the little helmet hood that's on the other side of the glass. Which is actually in sort of repair. He spat oh, out all so sorts. Old. Yeah, that one's that one's like 20 years old, isn't it? Doing the fine adjustments. So you're just running your finger along and just gradually stretching it? Yeah. Well, it was really soft, so they didn't shrink like they're seeing. Ah, yeah. Move too softly, it doesn't stay either. You have lots of drift when it's too soft, yeah. But but having used this pen long enough, that it's okay. I, I know which technique to use on it when it's also a highly sculptural thing because here's this will be the um, the head portion of an animal headed drinking horn in a sobriety. Yes, it is Godzilla. It's a custom one. It's custom. Custom's fun. I would have it, it's never not thought to, to do Godzilla. <laughs> never thought to do Godzilla. Yeah. It, it was See, the ones like that, we take turns on working. That way one person works on it. Okay, well, I've been looking at it too long. You work on it now and make it. Or this is a really awkward angle. It hurts my eyes. And don't call me out by that way. <laughs> I'm nearsighted. I'm farsighted. I'm very farsighted. So we play to each other's strengths. It's like, okay, this is a job that's going to be better for strong fingers. That's something for her. If it calls for... I wonder if I couldn't just take it. I could wiggle this one. Then pop it off. It's bad. Yeah. Here, let me uh, um come over there. Look at, here, okay. Um, undercut it. Undercut it. Okay. <laughs> no, because it's the new bats. Oh yeah, because the new bats are so stiff. We're used to some of the older Mace Knight bats that are have got a, a great deal of flexibility to them, but apparently they discontinued them, or at least at the local store. They can't have them out of the so, Yeah, so they're Which is good. Yeah. At all. But it's a greener technology now. Wants. Tipper. Yes. They don't These ones bend. don't bend. Not easily. Okay. And yes. We'll put a pedal this on. Okay, Sarah. And there you go. Okay. Did you see it move? No. I think I'm seeing the shape of the top of it flex, so I don't think it's No, done. I don't think so. Let I'm me just do. Let's see. Yes, I used the foot as an additional hand. Yes. No. No. I, no, I saw the whole thing twisting. Okay, gotcha. So we cut it off. Yeah. Do you want to make the small central hole before we cut it off? Yes, you do. Get get his neck down. Yeah, because he's got a relatively small neck. 
unlike that last time, which just came out ginormous. Yeah, well, it's gonna come up a little. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Got that one. Did you steal my spot? I'll try to You're being ones. very cute. Yes, I made that chair just warm just for you, didn't I? that crests down his back. I'm having to do some sculpting on the inside to make so that it's cleanable. Yeah, because that thing will go with your gross. Yeah, that would be disgusting. Because this drink is going to be a, yeah. yeah. It's That's a, a drinking vessel. It's a drinking vessel. It's meant to be used. Well, it's, a, it's meant to be used. It's meant to be cleaned. Yes. Um, just, uh, yeah. There's some things that's going to go. You clean that because it's going to get really gross. Yeah. There's some things. And it's going to be like, yeah, 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 yeah. Unless it's not going to be, you know, a food dish. Yeah. In nature. Like the couple times we've done, um, like the, the flower pots and a couple other shapes where. Soup dish. Yeah, soup dish. Yeah. It's not going to hold food. As a matter of fact, no. it's going to hold soup. The Godzilla here will get a, um, a throne part attached to the base. It will form the other half of the the liquid holding portion of the vessel. I'm kind of going for the I can't really see things down in the bottom. Yeah. Do you? No. It's like, yeah, it's it not something I can really. Okay, I need to get the wire through. Just the wire through. Now you need a bath. There we go. Scrape the back for you. Yeah. Get on the Oh, it's clean. Oh, it's not really, but. <laughs> now, is that going to be a functional play? Yeah. Yeah. It's relatively usable. I can throw that back in that bag. Okay, and now I can put this down here. There we go. I was oh. thinking of cutting off a little further up here, then you pushed it down. And you have it. But yeah, it's. You can trim it off, right? You can trim it off. Do you want to trim it on the dipping part? I can do that. That would be better. Then you can throw it, show off another tool. Yeah. Um. This is one of the reasons for the hole in the bottom. Because now she can. No, I'm just going to grab it that way around. Okay, put it this way. Because that way I can do it. I thought you'd turn it over. Yeah. Next. Just do this. Oh, you're going to trim the inside. Yes. I thought you were going to trim the outside. No. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's a little bit. So you're actually going to increase the insurance capacity. Can I stop right back to you, Kitty? No? Yeah, I'm sorry. It ran into something. And this will 
be sure that it's safe. Rather than spending a like half an hour trying to get it centered and getting the lumps of clay attached to it. Did you bring the cloak back? Yes, you did. Ugh, it's all soggy and covered in clay. I've also done this once, it's already all attached, but you know, I have to get used to this. Yes, I felt it ran next to me, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry, it, it bounced off the table leg and then spun like a cork. And she's like, um, I don't get cut with my finger. So, thank you. Oh, yes, I still have to scope his hands. That's what scope his hands are. That's where the cork is. Yeah. 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 Also, the weight needed to make it a little lighter that way. Yeah. yeah. This batch of clay had been so soft. At first, it was too hard, so I added water to the bag, let it soak, apparently, which was slightly too much. Yeah. It's like that sometimes, too. Okay. Anyways, Catherine Stark, is Nick playing fetch? Yes. Yes, yes she, she is. is. I know, I walked away from the clock, didn't I? Horribly, you know, horrible, betrayed face there. Oh, you need to, you need need to, to test fit it first, yes? Yes. Oh, this fits beautifully. Yes, it's fine. Oh. See, See that that reason really for the hole. Yes. <laughs> this point. Yeah. Are you going to bring it back or do I have to go fetch it because you, you took it away because it wasn't sitting there? Here. Nope. That's another one of these. Yeah, that's the one I'm going to bring. There you are. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Skitter Cat. Skitter Cat. Yes, her favorite toy is a cork. Oh yeah, that's a very putty-like consistency, that container. Yeah. I'm sorry, I handed you the other container and it was all goofy. It's okay. Okay. It's a little under half empty, so it seemed reasonable that you just tossed it up. Yeah. I mean, to, oh, that was, oh good, that, that, the better consistency grew. <laughs> it's still around. It's still around. I'd run a, oh, it was because there was one that I had been using as a riser for the Hong uh, Godzilla. Oh. Yeah. And that was, therefore, the one that I had in front of me. And I went, oh, this one's, not only was it mostly empty, what was left in there was um, dried up and falling out of the container. So I tossed it into the, one of the, the scrap bags for recycling and refilled it. So you had water in your water bucket. Details. Water in the water bucket? I know. Crazy. Oh, hi! Do you want in my coat? Are you cold? Next. Do you want under the coat? Or under? You have cobwebs sticking your whiskers together. But it's the last two times we've been out here, she's been more tolerant of cold. Well, she's also bigger now than she's ever been before. Yes, because you're still growing. Where did you get the cobwebs? Please tell me. Her whiskers currently, you know, curl back on themselves. Isn't that what these whiskers are for? Is for getting rid of the cobwebs? Yeah. Kitty cats are dusters. Yes. Well, if you wanted to, we could probably throw the um, the other half of Godzilla here today. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Hi. I'm just suggest you want it, so that way. Do I need to unzip my coat? There. Do you want in? You're saying she was tolerant of the cold, sir? 
toleration just ran out? Her toleration just ran out. Yep. There. Good. Good. Just don't fall off my lap, okay? It's bad for the kitty because it's undignified, and then it's bad for the human because there's claws involved. There. Are you warmer now? Oh, that's a pouty face. Look at this. Yeah. Sliding slightly towards me. Yeah. Okay. Now it's no, no longer shifty. Okay. Yes. You want under the other layer? There. Yeah. This one seems to be sitting fine. So we can go and you want to chill. You, you can chill now. Yeah. Yes. Mommy needs me to get something off the bat now. Off the, off the wheel head. She was snorting at me because I was moving my arms around too much. No hug. Just blanket. Hi. Let's stick your face out now. Off. Yeah, I'm putting my weight. Can you put yeah. thumbs up? No, but I want to see her. Oh, okay, that's standing. Yeah. He walks around with Carlin when he's outside here. Seems to have lightened him up nicely. That's good. Drinking recipes. No, it's meant to be carried around. And the thing with Brightons is you can't set them down. Yep. Okay, here we go. I'm going to put this in. Sit down. Okay, Nixie girl, you, your, your placement is a bit of an issue now. Okay, she got the hint. You're gonna step down? Keep stepping. Thank you. Good girl. Because at this point, it's kind of heavy. Oh, he's not as bad as I think. Something like that. Look at the knees. No, but this hole is too small for you to put your head in. Yes, yes, she has gotten her head stuck in pottery before. And she also checked out somebody's um, fermentation climb. prep all the way in. And she's like, I can climb inside this one. Yeah. She checked it out and made sure it was okay. Yes. Okay, so now at this point you need clay. Yes? Clay. To do the. Do you want me to just cover up the two mugs since you will have other things to put candles on tomorrow? I could do that, yeah. Okay. Said so clay is very friendly that way. Yes. And one of them is the point where it's only just mommy's back. Yeah. There we go. All wrapped up. Put it back for tomorrow. And clip. See that one. Oh, we don't have to cover up the amphora. No. Oh, you're right. I covered up the neck when you covered the amphora just because. No, we want that one I to dry. I uncover it. So it'll be dry enough for the. Um, Neck to neck on it. Be meek, my love. Be meek. Okay, so do you want more of that soft stuff or have a little bit of firmer stuff? You can do the soft stuff. It's not okay. going to be really big. Yeah. There we go. There it is. Mm. Like that. Now they need scale. 
You also want to update. Hood is just driving me bonkers right now. You also want to throw the um the cat canopic. Oh, come on, now the press needs to let go and click. And my wire tool's over there, right? Oh, I see it. It was masquerading as a lump of clay. It was masquerading as a lump of clay, yeah. So for this, I guess it's probably want more like a 30 ounce piece, maybe 35. Just bring my back up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and I need to present Godzilla waste. So you can take measurements. Actually, do measurements. It's not that far off from me. Yeah. I just feel like that a little bit. I just feel like I need to measure it. Measure? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sometimes I have to adjust the shape of this sculptured part. Yes. So it'll accept a round neck. Yes. Yeah, square holes and round pegs, not so much. But with clay, well, you can shift the shape. Just make them both square. Uh, 55 is a bit much. Yeah, I know it's supposed to be Godzilla size. <laughs> but that's that. a little excessive. Okay, well, I want 45, not 39. In. There. Long this production time. It's yeah. gotta be the right ones. Yeah. Greek in general, but Brighton's in particular. I mean some of the, the only thing that's got a longer construction time are the um the fully sculptural pieces. Like the the cat urn that we did was the laying down cat on top of the box with the draped blanket over it. I mean, you can also have these, which take a while too. Yeah. But the sculpture, especially on something as... Iconic? Yeah. Does it, it has to look like Godzilla. Yeah. Oh, the warm water? Oh yeah, warm water! Wait, that water it. was really cold, by the way. <laughs> Your hands hit it. Like, excuse me. Need heat. Where old electric kettles don't die. The office furniture in general. Yeah. Like the chairs. Yeah, there's big chunks of the vinyl missing from this one at this point. Mind you, it's not just, it's had help. Hasn't it, Nix? Yeah. Um, that's what's going on. Yeah, probably the Quite a bit of right now we're playing with Kate Black for having significant numbers of YouTube comments. Oh, yeah, that's after uh, Morgan Donner had, uh, posted her video where she did the interview of us there. Yeah. It's always interesting seeing other people's angles of yeah. a very familiar space. Mind you, they're really good. And I have to say the um yeah, the, the highlighting the little bits of texture like the spattered clay on the side of the thing. Yeah. 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 Don't clean up the... Don't clean the studio. studio. Don't clean the studio. It's like, okay! I'm not sure you even know what you're asking. <laughs> well, well, it's about ready to be cleaned, so we can hold Yeah, it. we waited, uh, like, another two days before we cleaned the clean shop there. Yeah. What we have to do is uh, edit the video. I know, I need to do When we were cleaning it, because it's always commonly of errors, because the floor is wet and slippery. Right. You, you, oh, can't, no, oh, can't. you can't sleep. You have no. to mop. But there's so much clay on the floor. I did the mop. We did the, um, we add the water, and it becomes very slippery. Yes. Like it's right there in the name. Yeah. There. 
Are you good now, Kat? So what, she, what we're gonna do is edit and fast do the um fast forward of cleaning several hours, including the spots where the camera was knocked down from where it was perched at the time. A number of times. Yeah, repeatedly. Yeah, it was kind of a thing. Off the back. Oh, nice. I suppose I could wait to be to finish sculpt on like the fingers on him so after he's attached, because there's a good chance that those fine details will get mushed. Yeah. That and the texture. Oh yeah, well I wasn't the I was planning. But it's the stuff. same as. Yeah. I can start to finger points, but yeah. The Zoom Dice chat. Why are you chewing on my zipper? Leave my because leave the zipper alone. It's a cat. She hurt down. She's trying to pull it off. Well, she's not fond of the zipper because it means she can't get into the coat. Growing up, had dogs. Always chewed on things. Well, I have cats. And they can have so much chew on things. Until this one. They chew on things. Like the dogs I had when I was growing up. Yeah, she chews fast pen. Hey, cardboard boxes apart. Stop chewing on the zipper! It's not really, you know, an insult or anything. It's just kind of a why are you so puppy dog like? Yeah. Joe. Yeah. Normally, when you think it's like well, fangs are somewhat dog like, you think about, you know, the fact that she eats her own catch. She knows commands. Well, fangs are quite trainable. Yeah, they're highly trainable. It's the reason why you see them so often in cat food commercials. Stop trying to eat my zipper! So, what? Okay, so mugs that need to be done. We have we don't have any we have two mugs that need handles. We have a kitty canopic and the the playful dog writing is not at a point where he's ready for that one yet. I could do is do a, a could do a few eight to ten ounce mugs. Yes. So I take it you want to oh we have because yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure this is the right consistency clay for um Kylix. No, we that have, would have to be the firmer stuff. Yeah. So that's what I was saying is like cups, upright yeah. items that upright. aren't too big. Yeah. Because it's really soft. It takes almost no effort at all. Which is fine. Yeah. As long as it's the right aspect ratio piece, I'm going to do. Hold the wire tool out of reach of the feline. Okay. Oh, you butt. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Right. You going to go down after the play? There we go. <laughs> <laughs> How's that? <laughs> Did you see it going sproosh into the water? Yes. <laughs> or splat into the, the crack a part of the heel head. You know, getting or the glue. floor. Not quite making it this far. Or going too far and landing on your arms. Yeah, but no, it was, it was, and we have, we got it caught on video, too. But, uh, there's proof, I, yes. I can catch them nope. all my wire tool. But is it repeatable? Here, I give you a hug, Nick. Okay, that was enough hug. Yeah, because now we have not one, not one, not two, but okay. This piece of clay is more of the uh, um, sixteen inch mug. Okay. Should I leave that at that? Yeah. Time? Yes. And now that she's gotten up, I can move this onto the shelf, and I need to put the water on it. There. Order 
Oh, there's one that has a couple pieces of bread. Let me see what those ones were again. One was a Vesa or Baker. And there's this one that's a mug. Um, no. It's a 16 ounce Baker. So this, the flare, kind of like the, you know, right match you just threw. Yeah. But not as broad as the base. And the other one was, oh, the other one was not red. It was a goblet out of black. Oh, okay. So I'll cut you off another like 30 ounce piece. Mm -hmm. I can do a couple more. Yeah, you can kind of use it first for that guy. Yeah, it's not a whole heck of a lot left. It's just that much. About five pounds. Okay, more like six pounds. It's a five pound scale. What you say? The back. I set it down and it kind of clicked. So I was like, okay, but it would click lightly. Which means it's not terribly in excess of six pounds. Mm. Or probably too tech, you say. No. A beaker. The goblet is out of black clay. I'm not sure that that's going to be enough clay for a 16 ounce beaker. Probably enough for a 16 ounce um, mug there. Okay, so I'm just going to use that one as a mug. Do that one as a mug. Because you need a bit more clay to make the um, a beaker. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the sun came out briefly. And I guess, oh, are you going to go into your box? Yeah, she's done. Yes, when she gets too cold, what she does is she climbs back into her carrying box. Okay. And if I don't notice fast enough, she beeps. So now I take her back inside for the warmth. She's wearing a lot of energy to be out here in the cold. She immediately goes inside and eats. That bird being out there. Oh, yeah. Good supervise now. Oh, that patrol. She has to check all the corners. Yes. This is where I like little fingerprints on the wall. We used from where we're hiding the um. Oh, well. Oh, this one is like the three um, bags of containers. That's a now with me. Yeah, we'll clean off slightly. Yeah. This rest of the house is gray, so. Yeah, apparently this in maybe the whole room has been just peach color at one point. Ugh. I'm not sure what's better though, the peach or the straw from your own walls. Or worse, which one? You have to repaint it. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh. It's just so much more. Yeah, yeah, it's not a sustainable color. You if it was a, a poll as to what color you should paint the uh, paper walls. And as our our last workshop space, we ended up painting kind of a, a mocha color, kind yeah. of a, a, a latte color. Yeah. Which was pretty admirable at uh, not showing the uh, clay spatter. Yeah. It blended in rather than because that room. Prior to being repainted, then it was blue and white. Yeah, it was sky blue on three walls and white on one wall. Yeah. But yeah. It was also supposed to be an office. Well, it three bedroom house was an office. It wasn't technically a bedroom, A, because it had French doors and a window. And a window. The, um, entry hall. A weird hall. Yeah, it was. My computer did live in there. Yeah. There was a desk. There was a desk. And it a was computer. an office and a studio. Yeah. In the, you couldn't even yeah. call it an eight by eight room because it was um it had one forty five degree wall. Yeah. Uh, 
last two pieces here will be like a 27 ounce and a, another 32 ounce. And that'll be the end. Do you want to call it at the end of that or do you want me to open up another bag? Oh, let's see. Probably should do that one. Okay. What color have we got? We have additional partial bags of red. If you want to stick with the same color, you could. Or there's the uh, last like six, seven pounds of black in another bag. Got a lot of partials over there. Yeah. Okay. I mean, one of these two pieces of bread could be a plate at the end. Okay. Because we do not have any uh, um, just in case plates on, on the no. board. Ones that are just fired and not the plates. Ready for this decoration. Ready for design. Yes. Okay, I will mark the beaker on that other sheet as having been thrown. Not that it hurts when we accidentally throw something twice. Would it be the first time? It would not be the first time. Better to have thrown it to have better to throw it twice than to accidentally miss it. Okay, so that's that would be Bad. Oh, yes, and there's the uh, um, that says, and that replica squash berry mint mug that we need to make. That was, we were going to throw that out of the red, weren't we? Yes. Okay, so what I can do is I can go get the image for that one up. Because that might be a good one for that 32 ounce piece. Because yeah. it's a 60 to 18 ounce kind of size. Yeah, so. That's the first one that keeps track of what you, of the, of what the orders. So I will make my job. Uh, Just do the first. We both did sculpting. She does drawing, I do painting. Yep. She does glazing while I'm still doing painting. Yep. I have to spend a lot of hours painting. Now that may be the most time intensive step is oh, the painting is. and the decorations. Yeah. Oh, here we go. How's that going? Yes. Uh, uh, PM. With, okay, that's the person's name. Question mark? Doesn't seem to be on the friend page, so I will go check elsewhere. Oh, we're getting really close to 5k likes on the uh, um, fan page, aren't we? Another 25 to get another 25. Oh, cool. We're that close? We're that close. I saw the first two digits as I was changing screens. No, it's getting really close. Cool. It was like this morning when we looked at the number of subscribers on the YouTube channel. Over 500. Yeah, over 500. And actually when I was um, looking on the channel, I was referencing something for posting on the, the, the website with the stream. Discord? Yeah, Discord. Thank you. It was apparently a Discord group for potters that do streaming. And we got invited to join. We got invited to join, and so we did, and we posted in the about. There we go. Save the picture as onto the desktop. Thank you. And how about the other one? How do I? I want out. Oh, you opened it in another tab. You saved them. Oh yes, and they even you know held up a, a tape to it, so we know the height, which is nice. I like it when they use measuring tapes. Save image. Oh, that's yeah. the wrong screen. That was a shock. This is mugliness. This Mug. is this big yes, piece. correct. So it looks like the mug is about the two and a half to three inches across at the foot, and it goes out to about four inches. 
now like five, six inches. Tall. I think it was five inches tall. Yes, but it's about actually four and three quarters to the lip of the cup because it has a little whoop decoration on the top of the handle that brings it up to five inches. So if you aim for five, yeah, if you aim for five. Okay, and I will get, there we go. There's a picture for shape. Can you see it okay over there or do you want it on a different screen? Okay. Oh yeah, so I should close it, close that in for a picture. Yeah. Image, go away. There we go. That window, it's that window. That one as well can go away. So that whole thing can be minimized. There we go. Now I've got it back up so I can see the three screen chat. Because yes, we have it set so that we can see all the chat from YouTube, Twitch, and um, Facebook comes up in one stream. Right? Catherine's comment came through YouTube because it's got a red icon next to it. Because yes, if you um, what is it? Follow on Twitch. You follow on Twitch. Subscribe on YouTube. YouTube. If you do either one of those, then you get notified when we go if live. If you click the bell. If you click that bell, yes. <laughs> yes, we also watch streaming and YouTubers and just. Did you hear Jordan's voice in your head? Yes. <laughs> Today's video is sponsored by the like button. So kick that like button. <laughs> <some more things. laughs> well, you think we've heard this a few times. Oh, it's kind of like when he, it was pointed out to him that it's not easy to get to the like button when you're uh, on it's a TV. TV. So how do you get to it through the YouTube app on the television? And he's like, okay, so yes, you click up and then there's the little ellipses and you click on that and that gives you access to the like button. Yeah. So we had to immediately go, okay, and figure it out in It's like, oh, yes. He's entertaining. Like, yeah. It's he's Jordan React. Yes. We, he's reacting to Reddit posts. That's, that's the sum of that channel. Yeah. Is it amusing? Yes. What kind of height have you got there? I don't know, I haven't checked it out. Let's oh, I'm sorry, it's covering part, of the, covering part of the cup there. I'll shift that screen so it's not covering it. There. Let's get you this back there. Well, thank you. She was born with this back there. No. Yep. You were there. Yes. And I got used to that head being a term of endearment as a child. Yeah. Along with brick and Groot. What are all sorts of interesting endearments? And none of them were said in a way that was insulting. What are you looking for? <laughs> the thing that was in its proper space? Yeah. Huh. It has so much clay on it, I can't read any of the numbers. So that is a specialized reader. Oh, sure. So it's because the clay will shrink. Yeah. So you have to know what percentage of shrinkage it has. So that you get it right. Yeah. Okay. Rest of Godzilla. There you go, Godzilla. There's your just bottom. like um there was one time I was using something that had 30 grit. Oh yeah. Sand in it. And it didn't have the same shrinkage as the 60 bit. No, you forgot to account for the different shrinkage rate. And it came out, what was it, two inches bigger than you originally yeah. planned? Well, it was a large piece to begin with, yeah. so I thought I'd be clever. I'll make this wash basin, because it was going to go into a stand, be really strong so it would survive being moved and used and stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was... You gave yourself incredible sore muscles because the clay had so much more resistance. It wasn't that it was hard clay, but it fought back. Oops, could I make the 
the Pinterest bit of So it's that fourish across yeah. the belly. Yeah, it is fourish. Okay, so the belly is the right size, it just needs to get taller. It's also not desiccating as much. This is one of those times where she's replicating a piece that somebody's piece loved. It's their 10 year old favorite, favorite mug in the world. And mm -hmm. that mother died a few years ago. Yeah. So we are um, attempting oh, to replicate. That is, that isn't a blue glaze and a green glaze. That is a green glaze dipped over a black glaze. But also has, well, I'm not sure ours would do that. Oh, no, no, no. I will be paid no, it, replicating it's blue and green. It's blue and green. I'm looking at it going, oh, I see what's going on there. Yeah. Because there's some glazes that if they're formulated for dipping, and it just means that they're really dark in there. <laughs> but that's okay. Do you need a light on? It's still light enough. Oh, yeah. The, the, the video's light enough because the, um, the sensitivity is adjusting. But I was wondering if you had enough light. Are you throwing by the image on the screen? Yes, yes I am. Because yes. Well, you can see in the, the small view that she is staring right at the screen. Pretty much right at the, the, the small cam there. Yay. Not yeah, looking I'm totally perpendicular this way. I suppose it's a closer angle to um the image that it was photo the, the photograph took. Yeah, it is actually. <laughs> is there a time where she utilizes the the throw cam to see something from a different angle rather than getting up and going across or turning her head sideways next to the wheel? Like this. Yes. That's yes, where it's now her nose is in shot. Yeah. Yeah, it almost looks like they were doing a pull up the sides and just stopped halfway. Yeah, yeah. It's interesting. Yeah. I can see why that might become a company to hold. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to replicate. I'm trying to replicate in the idiosyncrasy of a cup that you use up and not throw. But there's sometimes where you throw random pieces and have to replicate them. Oh, yeah. That's always fun. I'm just so pencil. Sometimes these like pencils are not perfectly. They're so strong. Oh, well, the surface of this cube is the most firm up it needs to be revealed to me. Four and three quarters at the point. That is, you know, just four and three quarters was the minimum of the um the goal range we were going for. This cat face blank just looks very, you know, um. Very much medieval dro drollery right now. It doesn't look. I know we were working from a photograph of the cat, but yeah, yeah, yeah. look, it looks like something out of a medieval book. Yeah, it does. Because this, this is what you know the masks look like. This will be going on to Tanapa jar. It'll sit kind of like that on the side of the lid. Oh, it's another kitty urn. That cat had a particularly small nose. So yeah, this is, that piece there is just past the second sculpt. Man, it's just getting really dark. Yeah, it is. Shall I turn on the light? I mean, yeah, the, the image looks still fine, but it's like... Oh, turn on the power. Power is back on. 
Okay, so I will take that one away. And I will stick the sheet of paper with that one because that one gets a squash berry on the bottom. Okay, and what's this one? It can be a it could be a six ounce mug, it could be a plate, or it could be another it might be a little small, could be a um another one of these. Yeah. And I lost the words. Right. And it's mostly the ruler in the drawer, so hopefully we'll be able to find it. But yes, it's a regular ruler. It's not been staled to shrinkage. There. Now please do not hide yourself. We had a blue ruler out here, which seemed to have vanished. I have no idea where it got off to. Don't know if we took it out and used it for something else at some point. But it's not been it's been gone for months. Oh yeah, cat picture. I need to put cat picture. Um, you get the wrong color sponge. It's hard to tell. Oh, they go. This way. Is this is one that to do the blanks, and then she does the pack to get it very roughly sculpted into basically what sort of critter it is, and then she does a build up pass, and then I do a do sculpt a down pass, and then I'll do it, you know, and it just goes back and forth until it's done. Sometimes it's only go back and forth like once or twice. Huggers go. Oh, huggers go. Through a lot more than that. Yeah. And then there's that piece. Oh, we we'll can do that. So I guess we'll have to back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Let me just look at how funny shape can end up with those. Oh, yeah. Like when we discovered how funny shape a uh, um, giraffe head was. Yeah, giraffe head. Or badgers, which have very Subtle head shapes that are a variation off of a wedge. Good. Okay, so we could stop right there. Yeah, that is a good stopping point. So I'll put cat face mask back in this baggie. Yep. Sign out. Bye. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Where is my cursor? There it is. <laughs>